Good evening, this is Dennis coming from Winnipeg. I hope that uh, your start of the week is uh, good for you, um, that you have a productive Monday and relaxing and healthy Monday. Tonight I want to share a little bit about what's going on and how we should be acting and helping each other and preventing highly. Good to see you up here. As we know, there's a lot of uh, news and information flying around and people are panicking about, you know, this COVID-19 and even people are, each time there's different treatment coming out, people are trying to buy those medication, even though they don't have the infection, like for example, hydroxychloroquine and uh, azithromycin. Now, um, a lot of us pharmacists are getting calls from a lot of people wanted to buy those prescription med medication just in case. And that is going to be creating more issue because those medications are also used for other health conditions that some patients are needed regularly. So if you don't have any symptoms I wouldn't panic and stocking them because that's going to create the uh, panic buying and that's going to create uh, shortages. In this time of the situation, we should be actually caring for each other. We should be looking at how other people are doing, especially people who has a chronic health condition. Think about what if we buy all the medication ourselves and stockpiling it and if ran out of medication for other people. And we've been, you know, talking about it and telling people not to do that. But unfortunately, there's uh, shortages and things started happening. So in Manitoba, government implemented one month uh, supply only policy. And when that happened, uh, some people got upset when I posted on my Facebook saying that uh, it's saying that, uh, you know, senior who reached the pharmacare deductible now cannot afford to uh, lose the privilege of a three month supply of medication because government implemented this one month supply only thing. Well, it's not. We're not, uh, we shouldn't be blaming the government for implementing that. What they're trying to do is they're looking after all the Manitobans so that we have enough medication for everybody because people are panic buying and we're already having a shortage of uh, supply at the wholesale and wholesalers are already uh, implementing uh, limit on all these medication already for pharmacy. So if anybody to blame is people who panic buy and stop piling it, and those are the people that you need to be blaming, not the government. And the same thing with now uh, hydroxychloroquine and azithromycin thing, the information came out probably last week sometime and already we are out of supply within less than a week because people are panicking and people are buying and even though they don't have the symptoms or infection, a lot of them are buying for their family members and their relatives and so on and so forth. That when we have an extra patient that has an infection, they may not uh, be able to get the treatment. So if that happened, and guess what? The virus going to spread and then more people will get it. So we need to we need to sort of calm down and step back and see what's going on. Social isolation, eating well, sleeping well, keeping your immune system up and running properly. Those are going to provide up uh, Highland. Those are going to prevent you from getting the infection. That is the key not stockpiling um, 
medication for treatment. And I hope that uh, I don't upset uh, anybody for saying that, but this is the reality that it's really frustrating. A lot of us pharmacists um, in North America, not just Canada, but in US also, that this is happening and this is just creating more stress and anxiety unnecessarily. So please keep calm, breathe, boost your immune system, and wash your hand and care for other people. Give more love. Uh, I just saw a tweet from Dr. Dean Ornish about what to do. He talked about more loving to other people, sleeping well, reducing stress, and also eating well and exercising. So those are the kind of things that you should be looking at and how uh, you should incorporate them rather than where and how much medication you can buy and keep it at your house. Have a great evening.